Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is Unlock Your iPad, Explore Powerful Tools. So once you get into your iPad or iPhone, to access these settings, which are accessibility settings, is what we're covering today, you're going to go into the Settings app, which looks like a gear. Once you're in Settings, you're going to go down to Accessibility. It is in the fourth bar down under Accessibility. This menu offers various features grouped into categories like vision, physical and motor, hearing, speech, and general. Here are some of the commonly used features and how to access them. VoiceOver. So to turn the VoiceOver on before I do this, I'm going to explain. It will change the way that your iPad works. So it says here, tap once to select an item. So if you're going to select an item, you tap it once and then you double tap to activate the selected item. So I'll show you what that does in a second. You have your speaking rate, so slow or fast. You can change the speech. Um, you can have braille, uh, verbosity, audio, commands, rotor, activities, typing, quick settings. So you can just go through and you can always um, put this to what you want. The double tap timeout is 35 seconds. You might want it to be longer than that, just depending. Um, you can have a large cursor. You can, uh, it will navigate images, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna turn this on. I will show you just roughly how it works. Voice over on, settings. So it's as, so it actually has a um, it's a screen reader. So what it's doing is it actually puts a, a block around settings or where it is. So say for example, I wanted to go into speech. So I'm going to tap speech once. Speech button. Now to select the speech, I'm going to double tap it. Voice voice over back button. So it's reading from the top down. Um, so the voice is Samantha, for example. So you can change the voice by tapping once. Voice Samantha. We're button. selecting that. Now we're double tapping it. Select speech, back button. Then you can choose your voice and you can download. So now to go back, I would tap this button. Speech, back button. And then double tap. Speed, voice, Samantha, button. And it works the same way for anything that you're going to go into, including the um, other settings you're going into or things like that. It'll read it out loud to you so you know what you're going into. Voice over, back button. Tap tap. Voice over, speech, button. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to go to voiceover and turn it off. So I'm going to tap on voiceover. Voiceover, once. switch button, on. And then we're going to double tap. Double to tap to toggle setting. That's right. Voiceover off. And it's off. Increasing the text size. Display and text size. You can, from here, you can choose to bold your text. You'll see that it'll start to change as I go. Larger text, so you can actually hit that so it goes on. It gives you the biggest size so far, and then you can go into accessibility sizes by toggling this button on. And then you just go over to the biggest A that you see, and that will make it bigger for you. So you can see here, this is the accessibility size. This is the largest size that an iPad can go to as far as the settings for larger text. You can do the button shapes, so it will change how the, the button shapes as well. You can do uh, labels on and off. You can reduce the transparency and blurs in some backgrounds. That way you can actually read things as well. So for, for to make it more legible, you can increase the contrast. So see how it, once I did that, it increased the contrast, so it has more of a contrast. It's, it's easier to read. Differentiate without color, so you can actually turn that on as well. It will replace user interface items that rely solely on color to convey information with alternatives. You can prefer horizontal text instead. So that will uh, prefer horizontal text in languages that support vertical text. So, um, you know, different languages, different characters. Smart Invert will uh, reverse the colors of the display, except for images, media, and some other apps that use darker color styles. Get very, very high contrast for you. The classic invert, so you can do classic invert the colors of display. So this is another high contrast. It just depends on your preference and what you can see better. Um, for some people, the higher the contrast, the better it is for them to see. Color filters, so you can turn on color filters. So you can choose your, your colors that you would like for the filters. You can reduce the white points so it, it doesn't make it as white. 
Uh, it'll make it a little bit, you can do it so it really, so it's whiter or you can make it so it's darker, just whatever you prefer for your site. Auto brightness is what I have this one set to. So auto brightness basically will adjust to the actual light. So if there is, um, you know, more light, it will darken, it'll darken, or sorry, it will lighten the iPad. If there's less light, it will lighten the iPad. It will darken it and lighten it. Zoom. So what this does is it magnifies um, the entire screen. Um, you basically take your three fingers and you can move around the screen and you can double tap your fingers to change the zoom. So when I turn this on, it's going to give me these this here. So I can move my fingers to see what I'm seeing. You can move this around as well by hitting the bottom of it. So you can see here that I'm going like wallpaper. You can see that this stuff comes up and you're basically just allowing it to read it for you. Hover over text is on. So display large text view of items under the pointer. So you can do that as well. Motion. So you can reduce the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect on icons. So things that are like shaking, you can make that so it doesn't happen. Um, autoplay message effects allows full screen effects in the messages app to autoplay. Uh, controls whether images animate on the web or in apps. You can autoplay animated images. You can dim flashing lights, so that way things aren't flashing uh, while you're trying to look at things. Um, you can autoplay preview videos. So these are just motion things that you can do. So you can reduce the motion on here as well, so that way it's not so stark with the motion uh, for people with epilepsy and things like that. It can be very hard for them. So this is one way to reduce that motion on the iPad. Spoken content. So the speak button will appear when you select text and it will um, read the text to you. And then you can choose your voices, your, de your default languages, and it will detect language as well. And then you can go to pronunciations. You can choose the speaking rate if you want it to be slow or fast, that's up to you. And then auto descriptions, audio descriptions. Uh, when available, they'll play audio descriptions of um, things that you see on a website. Physical and motor, touch. So assistive touch is off, but assistive touch allows you to use your iPad if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory such as a stylus or something like that. Um, haptic touch, uh, press on the display using different length of time and to reveal content previews, actions and contextual menus. Um, you can have touch accommodations. So basically you can make these iPads your own uh, or iPhones your own. Uh, they all have accessibility settings on them and you can just choose what you want to do and what works for you because each person is different and their needs are different. Uh, Apple TV remote. So if you have an Apple TV at home, you can turn your iPad into a big Apple TV remote. Um, your keyboards, so you can change your keyboards and things there. And then under hearing, so hearing devices. So most hearing devices now are Bluetooth, which means they will, uh, they will actually hook up to your phone or to your tablet. Um, so you can actually hear through your hearing aids instead of using headphones. So there's always an option for that here as well. So you can actually Bluetooth your, your um, hearing aids to the actual iPad or iPhone. Hearing control center. So once again, there's accommodations for everything to see the, you can uh, move these around. So it's just saying what they want. And if you don't want these, you can actually just hit the little, um, the red no button to get rid of them as well. Um, conversation boost means that it's going to boost the hearing. Um, so basically it'll make it louder for you. So that way it knows that you have hearing aids in. It will make it louder so you can actually hear it. Audio visual. So there's headphone accommodations that you can choose from. So you can just go in, you can, um, you can custom your audio setup as well. Uh, background sounds. So if you want to mask unwanted environmental noise, you can actually have background sounds turned on and then it will help you to minimize distractions. You can focus or have calm or, or rest time. Uh, mono audio, so just like with the old headphones, uh, make left and right speakers play the same content and then you can balance that as well, depending on, you know, maybe you don't have hearing in your right side, your hearing's in your left, you can balance it, you can balance it out. Subtitles and captioning, so closed captioning as we know, um, you can turn this on so you can actually, anytime there's anything that comes up that needs closed captioning, it will, it will put it across the screen for you. Uh, and it will also show you audio transcriptions as well. 
live speech. So you could so triple click the home button to show live speech. Uh, you can have free favorite phrases and then your voices, uh, your voice here, you can choose your voice and you can do different voices as well just by clicking on there. Guided access. Guided access keeps the iPad in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. So you basically triple, triple click the home button and in the app you want to use and you can start the guided access of that um, specific app. Assistive access. You can set up assistive access. Um, it provides a distinctive iPad OS experience for iPad apps uh, that, and have been redesigned to be larger and contain core features that can be easily customized. So you can customize any of the apps that you need to customize as well. The accessibility shortcuts, you can actually have an accessibility shortcut on your home screen as well. You can just choose any one of these and you can add them so you can easily access them from your home screen instead of going into this um, settings app as well. And finally, per app settings. So you can add an app, you can customize that app and you can make it what you need it to be for you. And that's accessibility settings for Apple iPad and iPhone. Have a great day.